Hey y'all, today I'm going to talk a little bit about my testimony. To me, my testimony is dull and boring, but you never really know when you tell your testimony who might hear it and who might be inspired in a spiritual way. So as my favorite author, Harold B. Lee, would say, a testimony isn't something that you have today and you always keep. A testimony is either going to grow and grow into the brightness of certainty, or it's going to diminish into nothingness, depending on what we do about it. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I grew up in a church in Charleston, South Carolina called Seacoast. This is a picture of what our usual like worship service would look like. It was pretty big. We had a very nice praise band. So it was very enjoyable for me being um, in elementary school. When I was about nine years old, I went to their Nerve to Serve class, which is this is our little logo for it. And it was for kids my age in the church who wanted to be baptized. It um, kind of gave us an overview of what it was like to be baptized and what it meant when you were baptized. So I went to that, and once I finished the two-part class, I thought that I knew exactly what it meant to be saved and to give my life to Christ. And for a little while there, I, um, I definitely followed, you know, the set of guidelines that they gave us. And um, But then when high school started, I kind of fell off the path a little bit and I would have called myself pretty much a lost Christian during that time. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. I didn't want to worry about the consequences or, um, you know, I thought what I wanted to do was right and nobody could tell me otherwise. Um, Max Lucado would say, faith is not the belief that God will do what you want, it's the belief that God will do what was right. So this is really me at the time because I just wanted to do what I wanted to do but it took my mom going through a divorce to really realize that that might not have been what I wanted but in the long run it really brought me closer to God and showed me that this is what his will was and it was the right way. A major event in my life that keeps my faith growing is Vacation Bible School. Um, I get to teach the little preschoolers and kids from like two to five uh, every night for a whole week about um, God and it's really awesome to see uh, how they react to it. Um, these are my kids that me and my sister got this year. Uh, there was two more but they were camera shy so they didn't want to be in the picture. But it's really awesome just to uh, be able to you know, tell them how God has impacted my life and they aren't afraid to ask the questions that you know, older kids would be afraid to. If they want to know an answer, they're going to ask you. So it's really um, awesome just to see that um, they'll do that. And so it challenges me, it challenges my sister, it challenges all the other leaders to show our faith and hopefully that through us that they'll be impacted for the rest of their life. Then this year we learned that God has the power to provide, God has the power to heal, God has the power to comfort, and God has the power to forgive, and also that He has the power to love us forever. And it was really nice just to see all the kids just proclaiming that at the end of the night. And you would think that being a more mature Christian or advanced Christian, would I wouldn't really need to hear that. But it impacted me um, in a major way. Just hearing that is something that I guess I needed at the time, and I think that God knew that. So I really love Vacation Bible School because it shows um, kids Honduras. And this winter, I'm going to get the opportunity to go there. So our kids uh, got to raise money for that. And so I think it was an awesome, it's just an awesome experience that keeps your faith growing. And I have to fly to get there. So I'm kind of nervous about that. But during Vacation Bible School, they taught us that God has the power to comfort, so I'm putting all my faith in him that he's going to comfort me on this plane ride overseas. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and hope everybody has a happy 4th of July.